We're always looking for new ways to surprise Smite fans, which is why we're happy to kick off Project Olympus. Starting with 413 and leading all the way up to the start of Season 5, Project Olympus will be focusing on a number of big changes that Smite fans have wanted for a long time. In this update, you're going to see changes to the Wisdom tab, the way you can queue, the way you can progress in the game, and a few more changes. So we have a really cool feature coming in called Multi-Queue. Players can actually jo join as a party or join solo, select all the matches they want to play. So if they want to play Conquest or Inner Siege, if they just don't know which one, select all three of them, you queue up, and then it'll sit there and try and figure out what the best match you have is, and then it'll throw you into that queue. So for Siege is a cool system coming to Smite where players will actually get past level 30. Little known fact, everyone has actually been gaining experience this whole time, so we actually won't have to start everyone at level 30. If you've been playing for a long time, you actually might log in your level 70, 80, maybe even like 110. But the Prestige system is there just to make sure that players feel like they're getting more rewards for the experience that they're earning, kind of show off that they're a long time player. So another Project Olympus update coming in the 413 patch. We have engine improvements to Smite. We have Direct Deluxe 11 support. We have screen resolution scaling. And we have a whole bunch of other features that'll make Smite look really crisp, really clean, including an HD texture DLC pack that you can download to make all the textures in the game really, really clear. So the Wisdom tab is actually gonna be getting a big update in 413 and throughout Project Olympus. First things first is actually now called the Learn tab, so players clearly understand that this is a place where they go to learn Smite. We have a whole bunch of updated short 30 second clips that will teach you about basic mechanics to longer form videos that will teach you about more complicated mechanics. So with the mid-season patch, one of the things we wanted to focus on was putting a little bit of polish on our Siege mode. We've gone back and improved the art on the Siege map with a focus on the trees. So now players will notice that the map will load faster and perform better. With Project Olympus, actually have a whole bunch of rank changes coming out as well that are going to improve quality of life. We have a new pick and ban phase that is going to be there to help players kind of plan what they want to pick and ban. We also have a new leaderboard update that will actually show the points that you've earned so that players can better understand where they are in the leaderboard and how the leaderboard works. And last but not least for this round of changes, we have the gifting of fantasy points. If you're a player who has a whole bunch of fantasy points accrued, or you just want to be nice to another player who was maybe a good sport, who really helped out the team, you can actually gift some of your fantasy points at the end of the match lobby through just clicking a button. Simple as that. As we continue to update Smite, we want to make sure we improve the game in ways that you can enjoy both inside of a match and outside of a match. And we're really excited for this set of features. So I'm super excited for you guys to get your hands on it, and I'll see you guys on the Battleground. To follow along with all the Project Olympus updates, head over to olympus.smitegame.com.